In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today's Gospel passage is part of what we often hear on Holy Thursday evening during the first Gospel passage, in which we see the scribes and the Pharisees trying to trip Jesus up to catch him in his words so that they can have a reason to give him to the authorities that the authorities might kill him. And so they decided to put Jesus in a rock and a hard place by asking him, is it lawful for the people to pay taxes to Caesar? And this is a touchy subject for the Jews, for they saw the Romans as invaders and conquerors who gave them unjust taxes, harsh punishments for the people. And so no one was happy to pay taxes. In fact, the lowest class citizen of the Jews were considered the tax collectors because they were considered the ones that were robbing the people in order to give money to the oppressors. But Jesus Christ foils them by asking for a coin. And he asks the people, whose likeness is on this coin? He said to him, Caesar's. And so he says, give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. His face is on it. And give to God the things that are God's. Now, what makes this so amazing, so powerful, is because Jesus Christ is speaking to a heart that they understand. The reason why Caesar puts his face on coins, the reason why when you go to outposts of the empires, you find statues of the leadership is because it is a way of marking territory. It is a way of saying, this is mine. And we see this all over the world. Statues are erected not to show homage, to say, what a wonderful individual this is of living leaders, but rather to show dominion. When uh, Iraq was liberated from Saddam Hussein, one of the biggest moments for them was tearing down statues of their leader to show their freedom from this. And so it was very well understood that the powers that be at that time would stamp their face on the coinage so that in order to do business, you needed to have coinage with the face of the ruler. The face of the ruler would be seen everywhere, on statues, on paintings, everywhere. And the way that Jesus Christ plays with this, the image on the coin is Caesar's. But the image on each and every one of your faces is the face of God. We are that stamp. We are that statue. We are that currency that is placed all over creation to show God's dominion over all the world, over everything. We are stewards of creation and have been given dominion over it because we bear on our face the mark of God. His very breathing is in us. When we look into each other's faces, we are to see our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so when Jesus Christ says, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, fine, pay the tax. But render to God the things that are God's. Render yourself unto God, because you belong to God. This powerful moment, this powerful statement shows us two things. One, 
that as Christians, we are supposed to follow our civic duties. We are supposed to obey the laws of the land. We are not supposed to abrogate them until they abrogate the law of Christ. In other words, we are to follow every law unless a law tells us we cannot serve liturgy or until a law tells us that we are no longer allowed to pray, we are no longer allowed to be Christians. Then, as the Christians did within the first centuries, we will serve liturgy even though it is illegal. But we will follow every other law. We will pay our taxes. We will live just lives with civic responsibility. That is what we are supposed to do. But our higher calling, our higher responsibility is to render unto God the things that are God's, and that is we. We bear the image and the likeness of God, just as that denarii holds the image and likeness of Caesar. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.